Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about figure drawing. Today I want to give you a exercise which is more of a intermediate exercise I would say. You maybe came to the point that you started to copy and draw a lot of figures from references, maybe you went to life drawing, but you constantly need the reference to draw the figure. So how do we get away from this? So today we're going through the homework assignments from Francesco. He's one of my mentees from my mentorship program. It is a very good exercise to get away from using references to draw the figure and more to understand the figure because this is where we try to get. So in order to make this exercise, there are certain things you need to know. This exercise is really simple, but also tricky. Technically, it sounds very easy, but practically it's not that easy to do. We need to make sure that we understand the figure and this is why we draw it at least once from the reference and tr try not to rotate it right away because that's even harder. So what we need to understand is the gesture and why do we need to understand the gesture? Because we need to understand where are the ligaments going? So where is the leg going? Where is the arm going? Where is the torso going? In order to do this, we also, of course, need to understand the body in a three-dimensional form. A lot of you probably already did that and tried to understand it, or a lot of you actually theoretically understand the form of the figure. And this is something I see very often. But you probably still have trouble to communicate the three-dimensional form of the figure which is okay, this is why we do that. When I say 3D form, we want to imagine that the person we are seeing or the image we are seeing, that this person is inside of a three-dimensional grid. We can basically identify how the figure is behaving in a three-dimensional space. And this is why we need to understand this, all right? So when we draw it the first time, we need to figure out the gesture and we need to figure out the three-dimensional form. These are the things we really need to understand. Why the gesture? Because it is much, much easier to turn a gesture versus a full three-dimensional figure. So what we can do is basically, and what Francesco did really good here, he basically thought, okay, he wants to turn it more to the side. So he basically went through the gesture and understood, okay, it's, it is a seated position and when we have this all we can do is we need to take this as a framework we need to take this as a as a base to turn that the first rotation you are doing should be simple sometimes it's much much harder to figure out the position even if we rotated this gesture because the gesture at some point is just a stick figure then the form comes into play and what i mean by this is we need to think about where is the form sitting so how about we look at our first drawing that the masses of the body is n are nothing else than 3D boxes or 3D masses. So if we have this and we see that this is basically nothing else than a box and this is nothing else than a cylinder, we can rotate this because of course it is hard to rotate a pelvis, but it's maybe easier to rotate a box, right? So if I see I have this as my box, I can think of how about I just rotate this? Let's do that. Let's rotate the gesture first. You can also try to use the line of action. So the longest line going through the pose. I'm trying to imagine we see her more from the side. And I would also recommend if you start with very small rotations. So again, make the first rotation very simple for you. And now that we have roughly the gesture, we can go in and do the form. So we think again about the box and this is the easy part. We just rotate a box. If you have trouble on rotating a box, just do it separately. Figure out how to rotate that box. And you will see if you have trouble with this at the moment, this exercise is maybe a bit too advanced for you. If you can do it, you can also rotate the figure because from here to here, there's nothing more than a plane change. And we know now that we see this box more from the side, that we see the box of the pelvis now 
more from the side. And the more you do it, the better you become on understanding the behavior of the human form in 3D space. This is also why often when you start with drawing, the figure drawing is the hardest part because there is a lot of stuff happening. And the figure drawing is a very complex three-dimensional object. So what I would advise, start with these rotations when you when you feel like you can draw very well from a reference because that's where we try to get away from the fastest as possible. At the end, we actually want to, and this is the ultimate goal, we want to draw a figure from our imagination without a reference and then just taking the reference to double check our anatomy. And also you see that Francesco, for example, he, he still has some little issues, some little problems in here. He had trouble on figuring out that the, that the foot is actually more behind the pelvis if he would have used the box here a bit more precise then you would see okay we are basically behind her and we see much much more of the back foot which is not a problem because of course it's a learning process and this is also the same for and when we see that these legs are coming forward actually first before they come backwards this process becomes very simple at some point because it's very logical, it's very direct. We know, okay, this goes forward, this goes backward. So it's just the representation. Here are also some more examples. Again, I would recommend if you try this exercise, go for simple poses first and try not to rotate these figures as crazy as possible because it's obviously the harder it becomes. You should boost your confidence a little bit more and not try this and say like, oh, this is so hard. What did Janusz said? Like, I hate him, I hate this exercise. No, just start simple, start with a small rotation and please make sure start with understanding the gesture and the form. And all you need to do then is to transfer the gesture and then rotate the three-dimensional boxes. And that's everything. Here's also another example by another mentorship student of mine, Sophie. Uh, she did a very good job on understanding the gesture and the flow of the figure. She started simple, a very small rotation in here, but very nicely she kept on going with the flow, following the line of action, keeping that S-curve line and just indicating certain things. She could have pushed the form a bit more, but this wasn't the task I gave her. I just gave her the task of rotating these figures. Try out this exercise. Um, if you have more questions, put them in the comments below and let me know how you like this exercise and how it's working for you. If you have a good progression and if you share it on social media, please make sure to tag me so I can also see these results. Also, if you're interested in learning a little bit more with me one-to-one -one in a one-on-one -on -one session, I also have a mentorship program as mentioned. Feel free to check out my website janoschmanisart.zone and apply there for the mentorship if you are interested. Otherwise, since it's a free exercise, there's also one thing which is free, which is subscribe to this YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up. I wish you all a great day. Take care and thanks for joining. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.